I need to have a little chat about this book that so many of you have sent me this week. Brenda's Beaver Needs a Barber. Apart from the impressive use of alliteration there, I don't think I've ever come across anybody who needed a barber for a beaver, but we've got, one would assume this has been written really, really tongue in cheek, but just for comedic purposes, I want you to imagine this is a real book for children as we divulge into it. And just imagine story time, three o'clock, last 15 minutes of the day, you decide to have a little read of this with your class. Let's delve in. Brenda has a beaver and she's ready to confess. As soft and sweet as it may be, her beaver is a mess. Now, as you can see, the first question you might get is why would anyone have a beaver as a pet? When you think about all the other animals available to have as a pet, to own and to love, I don't know if there's anyone that would choose a beaver. Brenda's beaver's big, Brenda's beaver's hairy. Every guy who's seen it says that Brenda's beaver's scary. Well, let me tell you, I've got a few friends who wouldn't find it scary at all. In fact, quite enjoy seeing Brenda's beaver. If you've heard the podcast, you know what I'm talking about, OB. Brenda took a beaver for a swim down at the lake. Well, you're not at a lake there, are you? At the sea, that ain't a lake. By the looks that she received, she figured that was a mistake. I mean, look at this guy pointing to it. You're a bit obvious there, fella. You're in front of your missus and you're pointing at someone else's beaver. You're asking for trouble. But to be fair, looking at the face on this this uh, lady, I don't think she's uh, angry there. I think she's impressed. I think someone could be head, heading for the old menage a trois. Unless, of course, he's following it with, this beaver has nothing on yours, love. Now, the language in this next line is... <laughs> She stuffed that furry mound into a swimming suit. And what does this poor beaver coming out looking like? Borat in a mankini crossed with the Terminator. I'll be back. Or I'll be having a back sack and crack. It was anything but cute, but my word, does it have swag? Some who saw it laughed. Others were just stunned. Or is that Stone Cold Steve Austin there? Brenda's beaver was hanging out, soaking up the sun. <laughs> Why not, eh? Enjoy the weather while you can. Do you know what, Brenda? You go, girl. You go for it. Why not? Her friends could not believe her. They said we need to talk. They covered up her beaver and they took her for a walk. These sound like toxic friends here, Brenda. You don't need this. You'd be proud of who you are. Brenda, dear, listen here. We want to help you out. Your beaver needs a makeover. It really needs it now. I don't think it does. I think if Brenda's happy with it, Brenda should just enjoy it, celebrate it. I hope we don't seem pushy, said a biker friend named Kim. So why does it have to be a biker friend? I don't understand this. Uh, I find it funny she's got a a vast array of type of friends here. There's the biker friend next to what looks like a pilot or air hostess just walking there, beaver. Your beaver is too bushy, we think it needs a trim. Again, subjective. Who cares? If she's happy with it, leave her be. Savannah pulled her beaver back, as you do. To show off what she'd done, hers had a nice long landing patch. It looks like it'd be fun. Hence the air hostess costume. I get it now, landing patch. Like someone's going to be there with lights and a high-vis vest on. This way, this way. Massive arrow pointing to the promised land. Chris's beaver is quite rare. It could be worth a million Hers is bare, it has no hair. Her beaver is Brazilian. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, have I got this wrong? But isn't Brazilian the landing strip? I just thought if it was completely gone, it was it was bare. There was you know that wasn't Brazilian. Is the the landing strip? I don't know. Can you clear that up for me? I need. It's my whole life been a sham. Have I been living a, a lie this whole time? Catherine let a beaver loose. She said there's nothing to it. Because that's what, no one needs that, do they? A loose beaver all over the shop. Grab some clippers and a can of moose. Why do you need a can of moose? You're not styling it, are you? You're not going to be taking it and giving it the old Mr. P comb over there. Why are you asking for moose? We'll show you how to do it. Kim produced some scissors. Hmm. And Chrissy had some wax. 
Now, all that Brenda had to do was sit back and relax. Now, again, I can't speak much from experience, but from what I've heard, it ain't a relaxing one. If you're getting your beaver waxed, pet or not, it ain't a relaxing and enjoyable experience. Is it? I don't know. I might be wrong. I remember once I had my leg, leg wax for a bit of a joke and it stung like hell. As they came towards her beaver, they said, now don't be scared. We're going to see what's underneath that frumpy pile of hair. <laughs> this is hilarious. It ended just in minutes. They didn't leave her much. When Brenda's friends were finished, she and her beaver blushed. Again, never come across a blushing beaver, although sounds quite interesting. Her beaver was so tiny, they could not believe their eyes. It was smooth and it was shiny. It was hard to recognise. Still got the shades on though, hasn't it? Looks like it's hitting a bit of a robot dance there, so still got that swag. That's what it's about. Now, Brenda is so proud, it seems like every time we see her, she's in the centre of the crowd, just showing off her beaver. Look at the way she stood. Look at that. You're telling me that's not intentional. And who's front row there? Jeremy Corbyn. Santa Corbs, go for it, lad, get your pictures in. I'm not so comfortable with the kids being around, by the way, having a having a gander at the old beaver. That's not uh, I don't think I'd be doing that. I've a parent in here, I'd, I'd be having a word. I wasn't that an experience. So, if you ever stuck for a book that you want to share with your class towards the end of the day, there we go. Brenda's beaver needs a barber. Thanks for watching.